Hello, this is Robert Kelly, and I'm exploring the use of Google Wave for hosting online office hours. Here's an example of a Google Wave with just three wavelets in it. The top wavelet has text, the online office hours, Robert Kelly, and the day and the time. It also includes in this top wavelet a gadget called RetroChat, where uh, you can post uh, a short message here, and it will appear in the chat uh, window. The second wavelet contains a gadget called Napkin. And think of yourself as if you're at a restaurant writing on a napkin. Anything written here is visible by both the instructor and all the students who are looking at this uh, Google Wave. The bottom wavelet uh, enables uh, conference calls. And so right now, uh, Ribbit uh, has made available this gadget at no charge, uh, where all the participants are listed. They can add their number and start a conference call. And while the instructor and the students are talking, uh, both can then be writing here on the whiteboard. And others can be uh, writing uh, text here in the retro uh, chat. Notice that uh, retro chat is one way for the instructor and students to write back and forth, but they could also just use the Google Wave option by clicking below and then typing, asking a question such as, uh, how would you calculate the standard deviation? And the instructor might then go ahead and show them how to do on the whiteboard or maybe the instructor might go to YouTube and find a, a YouTube video on calculating uh, the population standard deviation. Finding the uh, YouTube video the instructor could say here is a video helping you with your question and then plop in the YouTube link click on the little light bulb say embed video and now there is the video there to walk the student through it. If the student has any questions, the student could click below and reply and say, yes, that is helpful, uh, but what if uh, I am doing this for a sample? And again, the instructor uh, can then choose to go to the whiteboard below or maybe even make a YouTube uh, video or other video and paste it in. That is, using Google Wave allows for rich media communication between the instructor and the student. In order for this to take place, both the instructor and the student must be a participant. So the instructor can go ahead and add the student as a participant. They can use Google Groups to create a Google Group of all their uh, students and add the Google Group. Um, ideally, it would be nice to send the student a URL that they could click on and become a participant in a Google Wave. Uh, that option hasn't been created yet. But for now, this looks to be a pretty wonderful way to have a rich media conversation uh, to be able to talk to and help the student learn the material.